Hello everybody. Yes, I'm using reflection of this to talk so that you can kind of see me. But I actually have a pretty good question. Oh, well this one's much better. So, I would say I was about 19 going on 20 years old. And me and my best friend John, we really into fishing. So uh, we wanted, we were going to go half and half on a boat, like a small rinky dink, whatever the hell, just to get us out on the water. And uh, come to find out, the girl that I was dating at the time had, uh, you know, her great uncle was selling a boat. I didn't know what kind of boat, didn't have any idea, didn't want something big, you know, just something small, something cheap, something that a 19 or a 20 year old could, you know, afford. So go to his house and it's under a carport he said he hadn't started it in over 10 years over 10 years and uh it is a 13 foot uk version of a boston whaler it's called a del quay dory and uh i never heard of that a day in my life he told me it was from the uk and it looked like a whaler so he tells me a story on it and, uh, you know, he built up the rear so he could put a bigger motor on it and used to have a trolling motor on the front and shit. Well, that's about all I could give you on that. <laughs> so we wheel it out from the carport. We take this tarp off and it's just got like all this algae on it and like all up on the sides on the motor man it, it looked like this thing wasn't gonna start and he looks me dead in the eyes and goes like i bet you it'll start on the first try so i asked him you know what <laughs> what makes you say that and he said i bought this motor which is a yamaha 40 in 1994 brand new 94 yamaha two stroke 40 and he said he put eight hours on it and then he got to where he was just a little bit too old to take it out and he just parked it for the next 10 years. Well, you know, he, he took it out a few times but before he like permanently parked it, you know. And uh, so we wheel this thing out, a trailer's on its last freaking leg, man, this thing's dirty as hell. It's, Oh man, it's messed up. And uh, he told me the key thing was whenever he was done using it, he would pull the fuel plug in it, like the, the fuel line, and let the motor run itself out of gas. Always non-ethanol fuel. And runs a 50 to 1 oil ratio in it. And I'm telling you, I went out and I got a little gas tank, a little you know, primer ball, plugged it up. And I have a video on this on my one of my other channels that I had just for bullshit. And, uh, you know, it, I hooked my battery up to it. It's, and it, it just like that. No kidding. I have the video of it. Now, I'll try and find that some bitch. I'll put a link to the video in the description. So, yeah, make sure you check that out. Alright, well, uh, it's come a long way since then. Me and my buddy had to rebuild a trailer for it and do some other stuff to it. But I think uh, once you see that video, after after you watch this, of course, you'll see how far it's come. Now let's, uh, let's go take a look at it. Here it is in its entirety. So pay no attention to that little Yeti on the front. No, that ain't mine. Here's the motor. It's untouched. It's, I have not even like had to change the spark plugs in this thing yet. I changed the foot oil in it and uh, it's got NKG spark plugs in it. And uh, it's got this little stabilizer foot piece on there. Let me tell you, this thing is smooth as glass, wide open in the water. Like I don't get wet or anything. I blast through wake. Sometimes you get these big old boats come flying through. Though this thing handles it like a champ, and it's only a 13 foot. When I tell people I have a 13 foot boat, they're just like, you know, oh god, that's tiny. 
and they get in it and things fast pretty fast for how small it is now this was built up by him it used to like come down a little bit and whatever this boat is only rated for a 35 and you want a little more out of it so we went and got a 40 built up the transom a little bit the wood is original i need to redo it but it is original it has zero soft spots in it but i just don't know a dang thing like a single thing about del quay dories or del quay at all like you can't i've never seen another one around this is just a sticker that's not the original at all but um I know nothing about it and I looked some stuff up on it and there's very little information so if there's like a boat buff guy out there that knows anything about this please feel free to just blow my comment section up with you know whatever knowledge you can bestow upon me but I figured since uh, I'm doing some work to the truck and uh well here I can show you I don't know if y'all can see my little baby tire on the back but this happened i was on my way you know back from columbia and i hit some road debris and it just like annihilated my tire like just jesus and so that's that and i'm pretty passionate about fishing you know i live here in in south carolina and right on the uh right on some salt water you know so you know trout and red fishing is pretty much what everybody does around here and it's a good time and so figured i'd make fishing in this boat a part of my channel too because it also it jesus god i can't talk it is also a pretty big part of my life i've tried to take care of it a good little bit but uh this winter time when uh you know fishing gets down do come about like February ish January February I'm gonna be doing redoing the wood getting new seats because these seats are just like disgusting and uh, I would like to repaint it you know fill in some little cracks and whatnot on the inside from expanding and contracting from heat and cold and stuff and really get this thing back to tip top shape because i guess here in the u.s these things are extremely rare i assume you would have had to like have imported this boat but anyways that's that's just about it and maybe next video i'll tell you how to how we had to redo the whole trailer man because right here on the old trailer was so rusted out it was gone so it was like hanging down i noticed it when i pulled it home me and my buddy took some strut like a piece of metal one on here one on the other side and I actually took ratchet straps to limp it to where we could fix it other than that i've never had a single problem with this motor ever the p is good i've never had it not go into forward and reverse I'm telling you this thing is probably the best running you know motor i have ever had in my life between all the vehicles all the lawn mowers i've had what well, this and that blah 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 this thing best running motor i've ever had like it in my life ever that's a dang good motor and i've man we run it wide open all the time so anyways that's that tell me what y'all think if y'all have any information about it please tell me it would be a huge huge like weight off mine I, I just can't even tell people what it is because everyone thinks it's a whaler I'm like no it's a delcoy dorian like the hell is that it's like uh it's from the united kingdom so yeah so before i sign out you know uh i do have a facebook page it kind of shows some behind the scenes stuff man because i can't upload videos all the time you know i got a job and stuff and i use my cell phone that's how broke I am right now. So, I do have a Facebook page. Go check it out. Link will be in the description. Go follow some other stuff. You can watch all my other videos. You know, it's just just here. I make these videos because of it. It's like a hobby of mine. It's it's no big deal. I don't make any money off of these. I don't have any sponsors. This is 
that's it. So, anyways, take it easy. Have a good one.